Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to another special internet edition of Skate and Place. This is D, that's me, the Godfather Skating in San Francisco, California, and we got a fantastic show here for you today. Skate and Place cameras are going to take you out to the desert, the Black Rock Desert that is, to the Burning Man Festival, where we had a funky good time. And you got to get to check all of that out in three installments because one is just too large of a file to put on the internet. You know what I'm talking about. It's early in the morning. 3.43 a.m. We are on Interstate 80 headed eastbound. We got Lisa in the car directly ahead. We got the Partridge family bus. Mike is driving. And we are going too damn slow. We can get out and skate faster than this. What you say, man? It's like the road skating to all in, man. This guy's about 20 miles an hour. <laughs> he is not kidding, folks. We are going too damn slow to be on the interstate freeway. Personally, when I go driving, I hate to be in this slow lane. You'll never see me where it says slow trucks. Trucks passing me up like this makes me nervous. I don't like it. And these guys are going too damn slow, so we're going to have to lead him behind. <laughs> and we're going to get on our way, heading to Nevada. We're crossing California. Now we're into Nevada, headed up to Reno. Then we're going to make that hard left onto the Nevada freeway. Notice when you cross the state line, the freeway seems to get better, better than it is in your state. But this is when you know you're in the middle of nowhere, folks. This is where you do not want to have your car break down. Uh-uh. Only in the movies. You're looking at Pyramid Lake. Beautiful scene as you're on your way to the Black Rock Desert. A lot of skaters stop and camp by there. They have a good time. Green Tortoise. This is the bus that brings you from Burning Man into the town. This is the town of Gerlach. That's right, Gerlach. That's their little cafe and casino. Pretty lively town. Now what exactly is Burning Man? If you ask a thousand people, you'll get a thousand answers. It means a different thing to every individual. Some people think it's sex, drugs, rock and roll. Personally, I like the artwork. I like to see how people get around. Kick back and relax. We're going to let you make up your own mind. Coming up next on Skate in Place. Welcome to the playa. This is where all the action is during the daytime. People ride around in all kind of fantastic contraptions, different things, uh, everything. Check it out. Have you ever seen a gumball machine like this rolling down the street? All you need is a Nina, the Pinta, the Santa Maria, and hey, that could be Christopher Columbus right there. You will definitely experience what we call sensory overload. There is just too much of everything to look at, to check out. It's just, my God, it's just too much. Now this is how a lot of people shower on the play. Every time this truck comes through, people come jumping and running them from all over the place to get under the water. It's a lot of fun. It startled me when I first saw it. Look at that. But people Look are very uninhibited. They're not worried about somebody seeing their breast or seeing their behind or whatever the case may be. 
And you don't want to be just staring at people. You have to learn to deal with it. Check it out. <laughs> well, folks, if all you want to do is sit there and stare at women or stare at guys, you know, uh, fascinated over their bodies, then after about 40 minutes of that, you're going to be bored stupid. Because Burning Man is just so much more than that. Or is it? Hmm. Well, ladies, what do you... Well, hmm. I guess you're going to have to deal with that one on your own. There is just some absolutely fantastic things to go and check out, you know? There's so many other things to do, so many other things to see, so many other things that can stimulate your mind and get you really into Burning Man. One thing you have to have, though, is a bicycle. You gotta have a way to get around the playa. You are checking out the Desert Dragon. People get inside and they ride around the playa, go on some place to play. They have free drinks, they have bands playing. It's it's awesome. Now we got something very, very special coming up next. Check it out! This group is called One Tribe. They had a fantastic camp over here at Burning Man this year. They pulled this giant lion out to the middle of the playa with all these people, set up their music, and had a funky good time. As you can see, they made a complete music video that was shown on MTV. And the African-American woman in here, I gave her a skate lesson out in Golden Gate Park. She told me, yeah, I'm doing this out in Burning Man. I said, well, I'm doing the Burning Man too. So we went out there along with uh, Dan Filner from the Fun House to check out exactly what they was doing. So kick back and relax and check out the video Trust from One Try. Coming up next on Skate and Play. This little known story is of Aura Del Grey, a ghetto hummingbird who sang her songs from a church in the sky. sky. Trust. Trust you. Can you trust the eyes you see in the mirror when you wake up in the morning? Can you really trust the footsteps that you take every day? Can you trust the one you lay with? Can you trust the one that bears your child? Can you trust the people that sleep and love with you? Trust the people you work with. Can you trust the signs of the plan? You can't even trust the way that I don't even trust myself. 
think huh now please remember skaters we are just now scratching the surface of burning man we have three more installments we're going to create for you so that you can get a good idea of what this is now there's all kinds of camps at burning man this is one of those camps i don't know i think it's bar pole camp <laughs> they invited me to come in and check it out and uh, i thought it was pretty good but uh, we have to break this down into three different installments if you want to see what burning man is so the next time, we're going to show you the Desert Nose, Howard Cohen. He is one of the greatest organizers of Burning Man, and plus he's involved in roller disco as well. Plus, we're going to take you to the Tom Jones Panty Hut, show you uh, how people get a free drink at the Panty Hut. I think you'll like that. Plus, there's plenty of other camps we're going to show you. We're going to show you Burning Man at night and the burn. So keep watching that Cora webpage. Check for the update. You won't regret it. I guarantee you that. Well, folks, that's it for part one, but part two is coming very, very soon. We hope you liked our show. This is D. That's me, the Godfather Skating in San Francisco. Hoping that you all skate safe. Wear those pads. But whatever you do in life, keep rolling. We will see you in the streets.